Boston police detectives Nick Walker and Bobby Hayes discover gold during a drug bust and decide to keep it. Nick hides his portion in his backyard, hoping it will improve life for him and his wife, Julia. He quickly feels sorry and tells Hayes he wants to give back the gold. Later that day, during a raid on a warehouse, Nick and Hayes exchange gunfire with the criminals. In a tragic twist, Hayes fatally shoots Nick to stop him from returning the gold. After reaching limbo in the afterlife, Nick is guided through a swirling tunnel in the sky to meet Mildred Proctor, the head of the Boston Division of the Rest and Peace Department, RIPD. Proctor informs Nick that RIPD is an organization that recruits deceased police officers to patrol the afterlife, tasked with apprehending Dedo's spirits who didn't move on and now roam Earth as monstrous entities. Nick decides to join RIPD for a hundred years upon learning from Proctor that it could prevent a harsh final judgment. He then meets his new partner, Roy Pulsifer, a grizzled former U.S. Marshal from the 1800s. Nick and Roy come back to Earth for Nick's funeral. There, Nick discovers that RPD officers have avatars, which is how humans see them. Nick's avatar is an old Chinese man named Jerry Chin, while Roy's is a beautiful Russian woman named Opal Pavlenko. Unable to reach Julia, Nick goes with Roy to the apartment of suspect Stanley Nolicki. Nolicki transforms from his human avatar into a monstrous form using human powder. In the chaos, Nolicki tries to flee, leading Roy to push Nick out of a 20-story building. Eventually, Roy kills Nolicki using a special bullet that erases him from existence. Gold pieces identical to the ones Nick stole are discovered in Nolicki's possession and entered as evidence. Nick suspects that Nolicki was attempting to conceal the gold from them even as he faced death. He convinces Roy to pursue further investigation into the matter. Nick and Roy meet with Elliot, who is Roy's informant and a fan of the Red Sox. Nick tricks Elliot into taking them to his contact, who turns out to be Hayes. They follow Hayes to Nick's former home, where Hayes retrieves Nick's portion of the gold, causing Julia to think Nick was involved in corruption. Following a short argument between Roy and Nick about the stolen gold, they trail Hayes to a bus station. There, Hayes hands over the gold to a bulky, red-haired Dedo named Pulaski. The pair corners Pulaski and tries to scare him by threatening to reveal his real appearance, which he quickly reveals. Pulaski manages to escape, causing significant chaos that grabs headlines in the news. Proctor gets really angry, and they're suspended and removed from the case by the Eternals, who oversee Limbo. Proctor warns them they might face erasure. After discovering that the gold pieces are part of the staff of Jericho, a magical object that can reverse the tunnel to the afterlife, they choose to keep investigating on their own. Nick and Roy go to see Hayes, who soon figures out their identity. He confesses to being a Dedo, having made a deal to stay on Earth after his death in a shootout. Hayes removes his street Christopher charm, which hid his true appearance, and is then arrested and taken to RPD headquarters. Hayes and some other Dedos manage to escape by using a device Hayes had smuggled and that slows time for the RIPD officers, but not the Dedos. After stealing the components of the staff of Jericho, they return to Earth. Roy and Nick neutralize the device and end up in a showdown with some of the Dedos, who use soul killers to erase several of the RIPD officers. As the Dedos put together the staff of Jericho, Hayes kidnaps Julia to use her as a sacrifice to open the portal. Nick and Roy show up, and after defeating the Dedos, Nick tries to rescue Julia while Roy destroys the staff of Jericho, saving the city. Even though Nick defeats Hayes, Julia tragically dies from her injuries, leading to a heartbreaking farewell between them. Julia gets better in the hospital and gets a second chance, thanks to Proctor doing Nick a favor. Proctor also brings back Nick, giving him a warning, and Roy, who gets 53 more years in RPD. Aware of Nick's dissatisfaction with his avatar, Roy uses his influence to get him a new one. However, Nick is disappointed when he discovers it's the avatar of a 10-year-old Girl Scout. 